guys, it's Lori LeBlanc, the Hope Coach, coming to you live from beautiful Houston, Texas. It's an amazing day today, and all morning I've been thinking about the topic of focus. And focus is a really cool thing when you can utilize it to your advantage. And I'm going to talk today about some of the ways that um, can help you utilize focus to uh, get, get things in your life going and get them working the way you want them to work. So the, the first thing I was thinking about this morning was so many people go through life sort of with a drudgery. It's like, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I have to do this. And, and there's sort of a very negative energy around um, work, for example. Um, a lot of people don't like their job and you hear them complaining about it all the time. Oh, I hate my job, I hate my job, it sucks. And, and that, that whole energy of, uh, and that's all they focus on. And guess what keeps happening day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out. They're at the same job. They're stuck in this rut. And so one of the fastest ways to shift your energy around things is instead of looking at it like I have to go to work, change the way you talk about it to I get to, I get to go to work. And what, a, what an amazing thing that is. You get to go to work, you get paid for doing work, and that money allows you to provide for yourself. Um, it provides a place for you to live, which is, you know, kind of important. It provides uh, you with food to eat, another very important thing. Um, it provides you with clothes to wear. That's a very important thing. Well, for most people it is anyway. I guess that could be optional for some people. But, you know, those are some of the necessities in life that having a job, having money, allows you to take care of. And so rather than the whole drudgery of I have to, I have to, I have to, I get to. I get to go to work today and I'm going to get paid and that money is going to help me provide for myself and my family. Now it may not be what everything you want and it may not be in, a, in an abundant state yet, but just by changing that focus and how you view that part of your life, it's going to completely change the energy around that. And when you you can get into a better energetic state regarding that you start to have this appreciation wow I get to do this and it's taking care of these things for me and you know what what you appreciate appreciates so the more you appreciate something the more it's going to excuse me the more it's going to grow in your life so if you want to continue to complain let me ask you how how is that working for you you know is complaining about your job getting you out of your job is complaining about your lack of money suddenly creating these windfalls of money on your doorstep I would venture to say probably not so how about trying something different for a change and also when you thought when you think about focus and what you're focusing on is what's growing in your life think about this you know we all have this massive supercomputer in our heads called our brains and most of us have never, ever read the operating manual. You know, we, we just sort of go through life winging it, and we don't really know how to utilize the supercomputer to our greatest advantage. So when, you, when you're going through your everyday life, like for example now I'm driving, your brain is being inundated with billions of bits of information every second. And if it actually took in all of that information and made it a into your awareness, your brain would literally just explode because there's no way that you can process billions of bits of information every second. You just can't do it. Um, you know, I'm driving, I'm not only physically manipulating my vehicle, I'm paying attention to my speed, I'm watching the road conditions, looking at barrels of the road, the condition of the road, the side barriers. There's how many thousands of trees that I've passed on my drive this morning. Well, obviously, my brain can't allow me to focus on every single tree that I pass. I mean, I couldn't drive if I was doing that. So the brain filters out the majority of the information that it's receiving, and it only presents you into your awareness, presents you the things that are important, the things that you've told it to focus on. I've told my brain to focus on looking out for other cars to make sure that I drive safely. 
looking out for my speed because I have a heavy foot and there's usually a police officer on this road. You know, those are some things that my brain filters everything else out so that I pay attention to those things. And so when you're going through life, and you've all had this experience, um, for example, you go and test drive a car, and I know like I'm driving a Mazda CX-7, you know, as soon as I got this car, because that was me telling my brain that this was important, focus on this, now I see these cars everywhere I go. And I know you've had this experience, you go and test drive a vehicle, and suddenly they're everywhere you see them everywhere that's because you have told your brain this is something important I want to focus on this so it filters out all the other cars that are passing you the hundreds and hundreds of cars that are passing you every day and it focuses in on the one that you've told it to focus on so if you can learn to utilize this power of your brain what other areas can that work in um, if you tell your brain you know what I want to focus on making more money for example you know and in reality there are hundreds maybe thousands of opportunities every day that you go through that could be a potential source of a new business idea uh, a new product invention you name it but because you haven't told your brain to focus on that you don't even notice it. You don't even become aware of it. They're around you every single day. So rather than just go through your life, you know, saying, oh, I gotta go to work, gotta go to work, oh, I gotta do this, gotta do that. Why not say, today, I would like to come into my awareness an opportunity to make more money. I know they're all around me. I want to pay attention to that today and I want to that's what I want to focus on today and give your brain the opportunity to bring that into your awareness now will it happen the first day I don't know maybe maybe not but the more you focus on it the more your brain's going to filter out the things that don't include that and then suddenly you'll be presented with these ideas just yesterday I've been practicing this and just yesterday I was just at work minding my own business doing and then all of a sudden I was I thought okay it's July 1st um, it's fixing to be the next quarter of the year and, and I do this little quarterly planning session for myself where I break the year down into quarters and I, I have a little practice that I do to um, how are different areas in my life working what are the things that I want to work on in the next three months you know in that quarter and so I have this whole little program that I do and I've taught people, I've taught co coaching clients this before, but I've never really done anything with it other than personal use. And for some reason yesterday, it occurred to me, why don't you create an informational product using this practice? It works amazingly well. Why don't you just put it together? So I did. That was just an idea. But I had put it out there <coughs> to the universe. Hey, I'm, I'm focusing on opportunities. They're all around me. I want to be aware of them. I want to bring those into my awareness. And just boom, yesterday I had this great idea. I wrote the content. Now I'm working on getting it all typed up, getting the illustrations done and all the graphics done. But that's something that I've been utilizing for, I don't know, probably five, six, seven years. And it just really never occurred to me to create a product that I could market to other people based on this idea. And so, who knows what's going to come into your awareness, but you first have to focus on the fact that you're open to receiving this information, because your brain's just going to filter it all out, unless you tell it, hey, this is important to me, this is what I want to focus on. So anyway, that's your, that is your assignment for today, is figure out what, what it is that you want to focus on. And think about it. Tell your brain, hey... This is the things that I'm, that's important to me. And it can be something really simple. But this is what I want to focus on today. And see and practice it. Even if you just want to do a little test run. And say, you know, I want to focus on green Volkswagen Beetle bugs. Whatever they're called. And uh, slug bugs. 
and and just see what happens see what happens see see it coming into your awareness and and, and play with the little things if you don't if you, you know if you just want to test it out and see how this actually works but um, I'm telling you it works so why not just go ahead and shoot for the big things and just say hey I want to I want a, an idea out of this soup of ideas that's swimming around me that I just don't even notice every day I would like an idea to come into my uh, my awareness that um, something that I can make extra money on or a way that I can um, grow spiritually or a way that I can get in better shape it doesn't matter what it is just pick a focus and think about it and let your brain filter out that information and present it to you in your awareness just see it's fun it's really fun to play this little game anyway I will talk to you tomorrow Lori LeBlanc, the Hope Coach. Peace out.